This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 11, Wall Loops, Part 8. Printing before the loop starts. Sometimes our code will be doing something the right... Sometimes our code will be doing the right thing, but we won't be able to tell because of the way we are printing values. We need to use... We need to make sure we print all values we are interested in. This program should write all the values of num to this screen as it runs. However, it misses one, the first one generated. Do this. Run the program a few times and notice that sometimes it just prints done and nothing else. Even though a number was generated, the first value of num never gets displayed. Add a write statement before the loop to print the, the first num. Hint. Look at the two lines, num is assigned a value. Which one is being... Look at the two times num is assigned a value which is being displayed. Ah, just done. I see what they mean. So, since num is... As, oh, the two times. It's assigned a value here and here. Since it's assigned a value here, we might hit the wall statement and it's equal to 6. And so it just says done. It never says this part of it. Actually, I'm going to switch to text. Copy. Paste. And so, if it equals it right away, we should make sure to display the first value. So, the first value, we just have an independent statement, and then we're going to check our wall. Yep, and it should be good now. But uh Victory. Great. So, it is important to realize that this is a conditional, so it's like an if statement. So if it's already six, it's never going to do this, and that would look pretty strange. Let's keep going. 